Welcome everybody to the seasonal diet, eating what our ancestors ate, when they ate it, like we were evolved to do. Continuing our series on endocrine disruptors and how to avoid them. In the video that came out last week, I touched on how certain clothing and fabrics have chemicals that can disrupt our hormones, such as testosterone being one of them. In an area where endocrine disruptors are found in numerous products, our wardrobe choices can play a big role in our overall health. So in this video, we are going over the top three clothing materials to avoid and comparing them with safer alternatives that we can suggest. Number one, this is the biggest one, polyester. A synthetic fabric developed from petroleum. It is the most common material in all of our closets probably due to its durability and low cost. However, this material can release uh, phthalates, a group of chemicals used to make plastics more flexible and are known endocrine disruptors. These can interfere with the normal function of hormones, leading to various health and hormonal issues. I know it's nice and breathable to work out in polyester, especially if you get some spandex in there, it feels good and some compression wear, but a much safer alternative for your hormonal system is going to be organic cotton. This is a great example. Unlike conventional cotton, organic is grown without toxic pesticides and synthetic fertilizers, making it a healthier choice for your skin and the environment too. It is breathable, soft, and free from harsh chemicals associated with the synthetic fabrics such as polyester. Yeah, of course, cotton doesn't wick moisture away and sweat as good as polyester does, but it is a much better option Option to optimize your hormones, especially if you're a guy. If you don't remember anything else from this video at all, remember one thing, please try and get some good boxers made from a natural cotton. Your balls down there are the most important thing to keep endocrine disruptors away from. Number two material to avoid is nylon. Another synthetic fiber often used in active wear, outdoor wear, and you know, jackets, and also some underwears like pantyhose and tights and things like that. Nylon production involves the use of caprolactam, a chemical known to have endocrine disrupting effects. Now nylon is not as easy to replace as polyester. You know, for the active wear and underwear, you could use cotton or even bamboo fibers for the material. Uh, bamboo fibers are produced from the pulp of bamboo plants, uh, but another great alternative to nylon uh, in the underwear specifically is silk. It's made from silk caterpillars and completely free of chemicals if you get it from a natural manufacturer. To replace a good nylon rain jacket though, that can be a bit more difficult to get something as good and waterproof as that, but you can sometimes find cotton or bamboo rain jackets that are treated to repel water as good as nylon. Uh, but if you are looking to wear a nylon rain jacket, if you absolutely must try to have a layer of natural material between the nylon and your skin, so like a long sleeve shirt or something. Number three to avoid, acrylic. Um, it's almost the same material as polyester, but it can be made into a softer, fuzzy material for sweaters, which you guys have probably seen. I really do like this material a lot. It's cozy and comfortable, but a much safer option would be natural wool. That's as natural as it gets made straight from a sheep's fur. It's a bit more itchy and more definitely a lot more expensive than the acrylic sweaters, but it is a much safer option if you can afford it. Final one, uh, rayon. Rayon is a semi-synthetic fiber, so it's not quite as bad as the others, uh, but the chemical process used to produce rayon involves hazardous chemicals like carbon disulfide, which are linked to endocrine disruption as well. And you will find this rayon material in a lot more like dressy clothing. A safer alternative uh, for those events you're looking to dress up in it would be hemp, for example. Hemp fabric is made from fibers of the hemp plant, and it's one of the most eco-friendly and durable natural fibers available. Hemp requires no pesticides or synthetic fertilizers to grow, and it has a minimal environmental footprint. Also, another alternative uh, for dress wear if you're looking to avoid rayon, and this is my number one favorite clothing material of them all to finish the video off, linen. Not only is it very strong and absorbent and it dries faster than cotton, 
but it is made from uh, flax plant fiber and it's completely natural. Not only that, it is shown to be the absolute oldest material for making clothing that humans used. Okay, maybe before linen they would kill a bear and they wore the skin before then, but in the archaeology we have evidence of weaving linen going back for tens of thousands of years and it has been the most common clothing material throughout our history. So that is why if I have my choice I will always prefer to wear some linen but like I said it's a bit difficult but I hope this video gave you guys some uh, tips that you can use but that's all for today.